Hey, Shard Timers, this is Shard Time. One, Shar stands for Sharice. That's me. Time stands for talk, inspire, motivate, and encourage, edify, empower, or educate you. Yes, you. I feel like I have something to give, something to offer. I started this YouTube channel in 2009. Never really did nothing with it until the last couple of years. Got about almost 200 subscribers now. I'm looking for more subscribers. In order to do that, I will have to put a put a more content out and a valuable content today. I want to talk about your life-giving purpose. I just want to take some time out and take a few minutes to let you know that I'm going through a lot. I'm going through a lot, and it takes a lot of courage and uh, sacrifice to get on here and talk to you guys about my personal problems in my life and my issues that I'm dealing with right now. Um, I just barely came up yesterday, two days ago, on uh, five months of sobriety. So five months, that's 150 days without a, without a drink of alcohol. That's pretty, pretty phenomenal. That's pretty, uh, that's like a miracle in my eyes, in my book. Um, God is doing a work in me that I have yet to believe, conceive, or achieve. Because what glimpse he showed me of what he has in store for me, uh, maybe you can relate, type a comment down below, leave a comment down below if you can uh, relate to what I'm saying already. But, um, so... In the time that I've been uh, sober, it, 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 it's, it's, it's given me clarity and it's given me problems, I ain't gonna lie. It's more problems than the law allowed. I thought I had problems when I was drinking. I really got problems now, but guess what? They're no longer problems. I give it up. I surrender. I surrender my will and my life over to the power of God as I understand him. And for me, he's a him. It's not a it, he's a person. He is the Holy Spirit that lives and reigns and dwells in and through me, Christ in me. Holy Spirit of God use me inside of me. What I'm trying to say y'all is that Alcohol and drugs lead to death, leads to straight out jails, institutions, and death. That's it and that's all. Why do you think they call them spirits? They call it spirits. If you go to the liquor store, it says liquor, beer, wine, and spirits. Take notice. It says spirits. If you drink a lot, can't really stop drinking. When you do drink, you're an alcoholic. If you don't realize you're an alcoholic, then maybe you're not. But I'm talking to those who might can relate to what I'm saying. They get spirits in you. Sometimes, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it, demonic spirits. Well, I just want the one Holy Spirit. I don't want all these demonic spirits that rise up in me when I drink alcohol. I want to know my life's purpose. I want to know what God has for me here today, right now on earth. So in order to do that, I had to quit drinking because I've tried different ways. Oh, maybe I'll switch to beer. Maybe I'll just have a glass or two or six of wine. Or maybe I'll switch to switch to champagne or champagne, uh, red wine. Oh, let me try to. Murgot. Let me try the burgundy wine. You feel me? I done tried it all. Then I switched to nasty beer. You got to drink more of it, but you still going to get that same effect. Because wherever you start off or leave off, you're going to pick up right where you left off as far as drinking goes. But here's my thing. I'm picking up where I left off with God. I'm getting my life back with God. I ain't leave him. He let OK, that's wrong. I caught myself. I left him. He didn't leave me. OK, 
He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. He can't leave us. We leave him by choice, by choice. Drinking and drugging and God just don't mix. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. Trying to do right and serve him and be a good person and drink and drug. It ain't happening. Oh, he's such a good person. She's such a good person. But when she drink or drug, she's not such a good person. OK, so anyway, if you can relate, leave a comment. If not, keep it pushing. I'm OK with that. I'm OK with constructive criticism. I'm OK with agreements or disagreements. All right. Also, I want to let you know that my purpose uh, will be fulfilled. There's a scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, It says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. And I will see them through to the day of completion. OK, what else? I knew you before you were formed in the womb. I knew you. So what I'm trying to say, folks, is that I'm going on with my purpose, with God, my life, with what he wants me to do. Why not try it? Try God. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I want good. I don't I tried to be good by my on my own. Can't do it. I am mean, evil, spiteful. Y'all looking at me like, oh, God, I ain't all that. Don't compare yourself to me. I'm telling you about my experience, about who I am and who I used to be and what I want to be and what I'm striving to be with who and who's in me. So all that being said is all I'm trying to say is I'm going on and I want to see if you can relate. And if are you doing the same thing? The way I live my life, you ain't got to live your life the way I'm living my life or I'm trying to express to you that I want to live my life. So the Bible says, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. Well, I'm experiencing that right now. It's been five months sober. I've been seeking God, seeking God, seeking God. I'm getting more and more and more and more and more into his word. I got a life recovery Bible. It's tight. The Bible is all about recovery and it ain't got to be recovery from drugs or alcohol. It's going to be recovery from sin, recovery from life, recovery from being born in sin. You feel me? So it's a setup, y'all. We got to be born in this stuff, in this dysfunction. Oh, I had a good bring upbringing. Oh, nothing was wrong with my family. I was raised in a good family. You lying or you spoiled? That's still you still born in sin. Long story short, the Bible is all about recovery. There's principles, there's steps, there's promises for us. The Bible means B-I-B-L-E means basic instructions before leaving earth. All I'm saying is that more power to you, whatever you do, the power and the potential of our future and us being better us's, better versions of ourselves lies within us. So thanks for watching Shard Time 1. Shard Timers, subscribe, like, share this if you see so fit. Other than that, I'm out. And I'm, stay tuned because I got more for you. This is just a snippet. Something I'm just inspired to do on my way to my AA meeting. I'll be back, y'all.